Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this uh, slightly deeper dive demo into the IRIS Plus system. First, what is the IRIS Plus system? IRIS Plus is a system that was developed by the GIN uh, with the help and input of over 1,600 impact investing stakeholders globally. Um, that includes asset owners, asset managers, consultants, evaluators, researchers, data platforms, all sorts of different stakeholders. Um, and it's designed to empower investors and other stakeholders to turn their impact intentions into impact results. The IRIS Plus system helps investors measure, manage, and optimize their impact across various themes along the full investment cycle. The first feature of IRIS Plus launched in May of 2019 was the IRIS Plus Framework Builder. The Framework Builder includes several components, including core metric sets, the IRIS catalog of metrics, and a built-in evidence base alongside practical how-to guidance to get any investor started with impact measurement and management. The IRIS Plus Framework Builder allows investors to simplify their impact approach, select impact strategies, and surface the right metrics to track by providing an easy to use system that, uh, that allows you to, to enter into impact measurement and management frameworks. That's not just how we suggest using IRIS Plus, but it's how IRIS Plus is being used by thousands of investors all over the world. Since the launch in, in May 2019, we've seen over a quarter million visitors to the site um, from 23 plus unique users representing 13,000 uh, organizations, I'm sorry, 23,000 unique users from 13,000 organizations. In the most recent updates to the IRIS Plus system, we're excited to be launching uh, some new features. The IRIS Plus list, as it's called, is a new interactive database, which will provide investors with much needed transparency and industry insight on who's doing what within the investing market. And it'll also aggregate impact analytics on industry trends. With the addition of the IRIS Plus list, the IRIS Plus system will allow you to feature your organization and search to find others using this, this first phase. In response to investor demand, the GIN's data collection mechanisms have now evolved in new and exciting ways. As many of you know, the GIN has been a very trusted source for um, market insights, everything from market sizing information to, um, to data points from the annual survey on what investors are doing, how they're managing their impact, um, where they're investing, uh, details such as those. Moving forward, we'll be using this system as a simplified way to collect data on your investment activity, practice, and performance as a way of then being able to play back that information in aggregate and anonymized uh, to the industry as a whole. Additionally, the research insights that have been found on the GIN's past Global Impact Investor Annual Survey which provides the most comprehensive overview of the impact investing market, will now be accessible in a shorter, nimbler format with interactive features in this, this system. So with that, a uh, little bit of a highlight overview, I'll go into a demonstration of the specific features of the list that are now part of phase one and currently op only open to an exclusive group of investors. We'll go over the new IRIS Plus dashboard, the investor profile, the directory, and a little bit into the frameworks and analytics. Um, these are currently only open to an exclusive group of beta testers, but we will be rolling these out uh, more widely in the coming months. So to start, this is the new bash dashboard. This is the, the private version in the exclusive launch. Um, and as you can see here, you see a new and improved setup for the folks using the system. This dashboard allows you to access all of your IRIS Plus impact measurement and management tools in one spot, and everything is at your fingertips here. There are quick links at the top of the page, as you can, you can see up here uh, and here, and everything is organized in sections below. We'll go ahead and find where you can edit your, your profile within the list section of the dashboard. Um, so this is your profile. You can have one or you can have multiple. Uh, typically organizations will have one organizational profile. Um, I'll, I'll start by just showing you this piece, but then I'm also going to show you why it matters in the subsequent sections. 
So when I go into the profile here, you're going to land on an edit page for your investor profile. The information that you input here determines how you show up in search results and some of the other components. So how you're discovered by other users of the platform. As you update your profile, you're also able to earn levels of the Iris Plus list badge, which I'll show you in a different section, um, thus showcasing your activity and being a leader in the market in terms of transparency. I'll go into a little more of the, the nitty gritty here. Um, your investor profile can be updated at any time and it includes details about who your organization is, uh, how you invest and how you manage your impact. So I'll highlight a little bit of that here. Uh, here I can see that I've put in my target SDGs. Um, I could add standards, principles and frameworks if I wanted to, as well as target financial return. I can input information about my total AUM and where I'm investing, how I'm investing, what asset classes. I can talk about my strategy and I can also designate um, and, and input information on specific funds. And that'll be important once we get into the directory search and be seen kind of side of things. I can also put information here about investment activities uh, or impact measurement and management activities. These look very similar to questions from previous impact measurement and management surveys if you participated in those. Um, and it's all really important information so that again, we can play back to the industry what commonalities of practice look like and where folks are feeling um, both really confident and where they need a little bit more um, help and, and support. A um, Couple of other points to show within this, this section. Uh, this progress bar shows you how much of your profile you've completed and how transparent it is. This is really important because all of the data that you share in this system will remain anonymized and confidential until you choose to share publicly. Um, I'll show you how that, that happens right now. So let's say I'm gonna edit this piece. As you can see here, each individual field has a toggle button that allows you to make the information public or private. So all the data fields are private by default, meaning only those with permission to edit your particular profile can see the information um, and only they can make it public. So here, if I did not want my total AUM to be public, I could make it, um, turn it back to private. It was originally private and I turned it to public or I can make it public. Um, and I'll show you the difference here as well. So in this, um, this progress bar, this is the amount of information that I have uh, put in. So my goal would be to fill this up as much as possible. Um, this is the amount of information that is shared publicly. So currently 38%. And if I were to change it here, it would then show me that the, the amount transparent has dropped. And when somebody is looking at my profile, they can no longer see that information. Um, you can't see a badge here right now because I personally haven't put enough information into this demo account, but um, as I fill it out, it would start to fill in sections of this badge, depending on how much I had put in and how much I had made transparent. Um, this allows investors to represent their commitment to using their capital for positive impact. Each level um, helps them demonstrate their transparency to key, key stakeholders in these areas. Um, I'll show just uh, two more things here. One is a preview. So I can preview exactly how my, my profile page is going to look to others. As you can see here, because I toggled off the AUM, you cannot see my total AUM anymore. I can only see the pieces that I have made public personally. Um, I could then also click into the, the demo fund or the, the fund that I've set up here, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, so now I'm going to try to go back. Okay. The other piece that I will highlight here is the help form. Um, and as you can see, not currently published there. Um, there should be a help form here that will allow me to input any questions that I'm having. 
um, as I go through here. So questions about the specific framing of different, um, different fields here, questions about functionality. We are here to help. Just let us know what you need from us. So I'll go from here to the fund profile just to highlight that piece as well. Um, and again, this is important once we get into the directory. So here I'll click into my fund, which I've creatively named Demo Fund 2. Um, I can put in descriptions and websites. I can let folks know uh, where I am in fundraising status. So if you are fundraising, you can make it very clear that investors can reach out to you um, if uh, their needs and goals match yours. Same thing here. All of the information is private until you choose to share publicly. And I'll just highlight here uh, that, I mean, you can do things like maximum and minimum investment size, of course. You can show about allocations and, and geographies. This can, again, be updated as you make investments and, um, and change fundraising status. But a couple of things that we often get questions on are about the impact management projects, um, ABC classification in line with the impact classification system, which, as many of you know, we um, we absorbed uh, not too long ago. So that is here. We also have the SFDR classification that you can clearly state on your profile if you would like to as well. Um, you can from here connect to impact framework, which is what I'll show you in just a minute. You can do it directly through here, but I'll, I'll show you through the main page. Um, I do wanna, before I get to the frameworks, I do wanna show you how all of this fits into that search and be seen piece. So I'll show you the directory quickly. This is the most complete up-to-date information about investors using um, or making impact investments using capital for positive impact out there. Um, so through this system, I can pull up any and all investors within certain search criteria, as you can see here. Um, so an example is Camco Clean Energy. I can see that they are based in the UK. They're a fund manager. Um, they focus most specifically on these SDGs and this impact um, theme. I, I can go in there and see their impact um, framework or whatever they've made public if I so choose. And you can see, see here also that um, the, the investors who uh, have filled in the most information. This is the, the badge that we were talking about. So they've included um, both profile and practice information. They show up highest on the list. Uh, so there is an, a built-in incentive to, to put in more information about your work in order to be highlighted um, within the system. You can also see if they're a GIN member. Um, and just to highlight a couple of other ways that you can search, you can look at asset class or geography. You can look at their specific impact category. So that's like climate here. You can pull up everybody that is uh, deeply committed to transparency and, and um, building insights within the industry through the list badge. You can look at SDGs, target financial returns, GIN membership, and then of course, organization type. So whether you're an, an asset owner or an asset manager. So moving on to the framework builder piece. This is the, the frameworks piece that we spoke about earlier. This is the part that launched in May, 2019. And so many of you will already be familiar with it. I won't spend a lot of time here because I know that you uh, probably already know about it, but I do wanna make sure that it's, um, it's clear and included in this conversation. So in order to set up a framework. Uh, you can do this directly through your fund or you can do it through uh, through this piece. Let's say I'm, uh, I'm going to be working in climate across either all or part of my portfolio. I'm going to name it whatever I want to name it. And then I can start by selecting either sustainable development goals or by impact category. Um, so here I might be working in energy and infrastructure and a couple of other pieces, um, climate action, of course. I can select all of those, or if it's easier for me to think in terms of lenses and sectors, I can go in through impact categories. And here I might just uh, select climate. And I'll say here that I'm focused on mitigation. The system then is going to pull up a couple of different examples of how investors most commonly aim to create impact within that space. Um, I'm going to select a couple here. I'm going to say that my investments fall within uh, carbon emissions in forestry and land 
use, I'm investing in mobility and agriculture, just by way of example. Um, that is all the information I need to input at this stage. And the system is then going to um, generate a starter kit of metrics along with some supporting components here. So here we've got first just the SDGs that are most directly aligned. I've also got a summary of how investments in line with this particular goal can make change. So uh, based on the, the best available information right now, um, what does impact look like within this space and how can investments make change here? The system also generates an evidence map which connects um, peer and academic literature uh, with associated rigor ratings with different outcomes that, um, that investors can drive through investments in this particular space. So here we're talking about forestry and land use. Most people are coming to this part of the system for this piece though, which is the core metric sets. And this is important because there are a lot of frameworks and a lot of metrics out there. Um, IRIS Plus does a lot of work to bring them all together and make them speak to each other in such a way that, um, that we can then offer investors a core set, a starter kit of metrics. Um, within this, this set of metrics, which is aligned with the five dimensions of impact, within each um, indicator, you can see the specific data points that are needed and their iris alignments, as well as step-by-step -step instructions to calculate that particular outcome or that particular um, measure. The system also comes with uh, some how-to guidance and then targeted resources that are developed by others, but that can be most useful to investors who are aiming to measure and manage their impact in that particular space. So going back uh, to our dashboard, as we've mentioned, the, the first component that we've talked about on the, the directory and profile piece allows you to say who you are and what you're doing and message that to the industry. That piece connects to frameworks, which allows you to drill down into the particular impacts that you're having um, and measure and manage the impact of that work. Um, you can also, I didn't show you this, but you can also customize the frameworks and um, share them between either um, LPs and GPs or investee companies or anybody else within your organization. Establishing your framework then rolls really seamlessly into um, this final component, which is our most recently released and is focused on analytics. Um, most investors that we speak to tell us that while they're, they're really energized and able to do a lot of these components already, so establish their framework, drive towards impact, they have a tough time understanding their relative impact performance, so how they compare to peers uh, and how they can message how they're doing in, in relation to peers to other stakeholders within the industry. So we have recently released this analytics piece on uh, impact performance data, and I'll show you that briefly. We've currently launched one on financial inclusion, this first industry impact performance benchmark at the investment uh, level. We will be launching others, so soon we'll be developing agriculture, energy, and others. Within this analytics dashboard, you're going to see just very high level, very clear measures around what impact is currently looking like within this space. So you can see um, within the, the data set that we have currently, and this will be dynamic and evolving as, as many, many others um, submit data. You can see the number of funds represented, um, details around them. So what they're focused on, um, you can see, uh, how much AUM is included here, where they're targeting their SDG focus, um, where they're located, uh, who is making investment decisions. And then more about the investments themselves. So geography, um, what types of institutions they're investing into, stage of business. Um, we then get into a lot more specifics around portfolio, um, demographics, climate impact, et cetera. What I'd like to show you, though, is uh, one of the KPI deep dives, which I think is, um, is really, really valuable here. So this is around clients actively using responsible financial services. It gives you um, a, a connection to what that outcome is. This is, of course, a, a proxy and a, a, um, an output indicator. Um, 
So it gives you kind of the high level piece. Uh, who, who are we serving? How are we serving them? Um, we are currently building filters that would allow you to segment this data to get to a peer set that really represents your particular um, strategy. So you can see just your peers in, in relation here. Um, and then you can also see its connection to the SDGs. So looking at the, the sustainable development goal target, what does the 25th percentile of, of progress look like? What does the median look like? And what is our average currently? Um, you can do that for all of these different KPIs. You can also see a lot more about our methodology here. The final thing that I'll mention here is that there are actually going to be two parts to this analytics piece. The first one, which I've showed you, is um, when it goes fully live, will be available to everyone uh, who is a, a fund manager or an asset owner within the industry um, who has created a profile, claimed their profile, and filled it in. Um, this piece will present information only in aggregate and anonymized fashion and will actually limit the number of filters that you can apply to make sure that everyone is truly anonymous um, within this, um, this system. So anybody coming in with, uh, with an Iris Plus profile who is a fund manager or an asset owner will be able to see um, the medians, the range for the industry on these different indicators and to get a general sense of um, of what good and medium and mediocre looks like uh, within impact in this particular space. There is another component of this system which will be available only to those folks that, um, sub that A, have a, an, a filled in profile and B, have submitted impact performance data to us. Um, they will be able to see their, um, like their specific investments in relation to all of these different KPIs and and, and um, higher level aggregates. So they'll be able to see both their funds median, they'll see how they play out in relation to the industry as a whole. They'll also be able to see their individual analyzed investments that show um, this particular investment is out competing the benchmark. This one is at the benchmark and this one is falling below, which is useful in helping managers um, actively manage or, or make decisions about how they're going to um, engage with those investments moving forward. So at this point, I will wind down the, um, the system walkthrough here, but would just mention that um, we are here and excited for any and all questions that you have for us. Um, please do feel free to use that um, the help uh, note that I showed you in this demo account link, or to just send us an email. We're at iris uh, at the gin.org. And we're excited to hear both what's working for you, um, what you wish were in here, and um, what questions you have about how to use the system most effectively. Thank you.